Crash and burn. Hey everyone. So tonight I want to discuss uh, Japanese torture comedy hours uh, voltage monster. This is Desolation House hour eight, I believe. And even though this record was released, I believe in 2008, the recording on it actually took place in 1996. And I didn't think it was that special. It definitely didn't need to be held over for a little over a decade in order to be released here. This almost felt like a filler release for Desolation House. Now I know it is Jay Randall and Scott Hall from the Agoraphobic Nosebleed in addition to a few of their buddies who made this record. So I understand the name dropping here and maybe that's how they got released. But I just don't see any appeal in this. I didn't even find it to be that noisy. I just felt like keeping this on the shelf for 10 years. I mean, this isn't exactly something that fucking Cat Stevens wrote. So I don't really see the appeal here. I do like the artwork and I love how they tossed in a couple um, pig destroyer references in the song titles uh, through Prowler in the Yard and Explosions in Ward 6. But other than that, like I said, I don't know. I don't get the noise thing. And this, I just really, I don't think it was like I said, special enough to have hanging around for over a decade. And I've moved locations now because um, I've gotten where there's a few more people because those noises just kept up and I can't really see much because I have this light blinding me completely. So yeah, so I'm no longer worried about being eaten alive or being killed by an invisible car. Um, that was a concern earlier, by the way, for the people who don't know what I'm talking about when I say invisible car. Um, but yeah, I don't know, this record, aside from loving the artwork and the Pig Destroyer references and how it is Scott Hall and Jay Randall from the Agoraphobic, I just felt like this just felt forced and sort of like this is going to be like our celebrity release on Desolation House. And it's like they just needed to fill slot eight and they gave this old noise recording the, the opportunity to be heard by a thousand people. And of course, this one sold out immediately because of Scott Hall and Jay Randall's involvement, but I just don't love this. And I'm not even sure if I'm looking into the lens anymore because I can't see anything. I'm pretty much blind. So look, I'm gonna go. So thank you so much for sitting with me while I discuss the Japanese torture comedy hours, uh, Voltage Monster, this is Desolation House, hour eight. If you liked this review, don't forget to do something nice for somebody and I will see you guys soon. Have a good night. I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button as well as the subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you guys really soon.